So I guess Nike's losing their mind. First, Zion Wright is off Nike, and now Aurelian Girard. I'm just really confused why Nike would get rid of specifically these two skaters leading up to the Olympics, as they're both gonna be competing in the Olympics. Not to mention it's the first time that skateboarding's actually gonna be in the Olympics. So you'd think that they'd want a lot of eyes looking at their brand, but uh, I don't know, I guess they have something else in mind. Anyway, so today we're gonna talk about why Nike is losing all their star skaters. Well, not all of them, but quite a few. And also where Aurelien Giraud is gonna go next. If you like these videos and you wanna see more, go ahead and subscribe. That way YouTube will recommend more of my videos. If you wanna see them all, just hit the notifications. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at the local Joe. Remember to make every single day a Friday, you can get gear. The link is in the description along with everything that I skate. So if you wanna get something similar, it's down there. So Aurelien Girard is pretty much the European version of Nike Houston. I don't mean that like disrespectfully, but the similarities, there's a lot of them. So first they're both contest skaters. They have absolutely insane tricks and they're just really, really consistent. There's really two main differences is that Nike, Nike actually skates street and now Aurelien is off Nike. I mean, that's an oversimplification, but they're really similar. So a few weeks ago, Aurelian posted on his Instagram a post is like a thank you Nike for everything that you've done for me kind of a thing and I'm leaving. And this is just following Zion Wright doing the same thing just like a couple months prior. The word on the street is that Nike is forcing Nike SB to trim down their budget. Adidas is doing the same thing. It just happens periodically. When the payroll gets too bloated, you kind of have to cut it down so that further growth can happen, you know, like five to 10 years in the future. So along with Aurelian and Zion, they also cut skaters like Gavin Botger, who looks like he's skating Vans now, and then Alex Midler, another big name as well. You might be thinking like, these are some huge names in skating. Why wouldn't Nike just cut you know, some of the flow team. From what I can tell, the flow team doesn't actually take up that much money. Nike makes a ton of shoes, so giving people shoes is a lot cheaper than actually paying these skaters thousands of dollars a month to ride for them. As well, sending out shoes is kind of like a small investment for a big return if you do hit the jackpot with like somebody like Nija. So it makes sense to kind of keep the tentacles out trying to find the fish that's gonna grow up and be a shark. Skaters get to a point where they're getting so popular that they can start asking for more money and start negotiating their contract because they know their own worth. And at that point, a company has to decide whether they're gonna man up and pay the big paycheck or if they're not actually that committed to the skater and if the skater is gonna be better served going somewhere else. So as far as Zion and Alex go, it looks like they're both getting shoes from Vans and Adidas. So it doesn't look like either of them have picked. Maybe they have by now, maybe my information is out of date. But Aurelian is kind of a unique situation. He announced that he was leaving Nike, but all of his clips on his Instagram since then have still been skating Nike dunks. And I just gotta think, is he gonna skate Nike in the Olympics? I mean, switching up your shoe that you've been skating for so long, like days or weeks before the Olympics, seems like kind of a risk. So part of me wonders if he's gonna skate some dunks in the Olympics and then switch, but then at the same time, going into the Olympics, that's a huge bargaining chip for him to get a bigger contract somewhere else. So maybe those clips are like old and he's just releasing them now and getting ready for like this big grand reveal. A couple places I could see Aurelian going is one to Adidas. He's kind of got that European sporty vibe, so it would make sense. The other place is obviously Karyuma because it seems like they have endless amounts of money to just throw at people. So I could see both of these working, but honestly I think Adidas makes more sense, at least in my head. Let me know what you think about all this, where Aurelian is actually going to end up, and what you think about Nike cutting all the skaters. It seems to me like they're kind of shooting themselves in their own foot, but at the end of the day, that's their job, is to sell as many shoes as possible, and not every decision is exactly on point, and it sounds like Alex and Zion and Gavin and Aurelian are probably going to make more money somewhere else. So, alright, enough talking about skating, let's try and get some clips. Nowadays, nothing really is ice cream. Only one of me and nobody's like me. Phone ringing and I tell them it's ice. I got one for y'all, I'm thinking she ice. Freeze, freeze, photo, photo, please, please. no photos. No, no, geez, please. no, 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 please, no photos. Hit the door and the dome and just whole team here, money 
so Still young, but I move like a Veteran. new deal to my lawyer though. It If you're down in my management, Benedict. I'm just warming up a way to lie Old producer saw the numbers one, Settlement. different colors in my baggy life Chalk it up, talk of the time when you're talking up Wanna get you a ring and you tough enough Wanna get you new things when your pockets dull Run it up, I used to be quiet and out of luck Now I move up and move humble cuz The hate and the jealousy, my mama telling me Count up your blessings and run it up Nowadays nothing really is Only one of me and nobody like me Phone ringing and I tell him it's Icy. I got wifey you on bling and she Icy. Freeze, Freeze. Photo. Photo. photo, please, please. No photos, no, no. Jeez. Jeez. no, no, no Tough session today. I skated for a bit longer, but that didn't mean that I skated any better. I played a game of skate with Tay off camera, and I was actually doing really well, but when it came to skating the ledge and the flat bar, I wasn't really crossing over, so struggled to get the tricks that I did get, but um, yeah, that's how it goes. Really stoked on all the half cab flip tricks that I did, so I think I got half cab heel both ways, and then half cab flip the harder way for me, and then I was able to do a back 5-0, which is just my second session doing that. So we hung in there and made it a productive session even if uh, the skate gods were not with us. Curious to know what you guys think about the whole Aurelian situation. I know I already said this, but let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are, whether it's a good move for Aurelian to leave Nike or whether or not he made a big mistake or Nike made a big mistake. It seems like it was mutual. Maybe Aurelian was asking for more money and Nike just said that we couldn't do it, so he dipped. But regardless, I'm, I'm excited to see where he goes, especially if he does switch shoe companies just before the Olympics. I feel like it's ill-advised, but if the paycheck's good enough, I mean, at the end of the day, he's skateboarding not only just for fun, but to make a living, so. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna see more, go ahead and subscribe. If you wanna see all six of my videos each week, you can turn on the notifications. You can follow me on Instagram at the local Joe. Remember to make every single day a Friday and if you want to get some gear, the links are in the description with everything that I skate. So, thanks again. Make every day a Friday. We'll see you in the next video tomorrow. Peace.